Hello, or good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. We are going to break a little story here about TMZ having a little conversation with none other than Lisa Ray McCoy, okay? Yes, y'all know who she is, beautiful young lady. Don't want to go into her resume because y'all can do that for yourselves. I'm just here to give y'all the meat and potatoes on a particular story that she has broke out two days ago, and I just want to give my take on it. Honey, Lisa, uh, Lisa Radon came out the closet, the garage, the house, and I said, that helper did that to me. Yes, she did. Pretty Lisa Ray said Nicole Murphy got between the sheets with her ex-husband, the Turkish Caicos man, okay? That's what they said. That's what they said. And that's what she breaking to TMZ on this little social media platform we call Instagram, okay? She went on in and said she don't know if she uh, is a home wrecker. She just knows Nicole Murphy wrecks homes, okay? <laughs> she in a home wrecking somebody's home environment. And I was like, Lord, what is going on with all this infidelity going around here? All these folks not paying attention to their marriage vows. I mean, I'm, I'm just not understanding it. People getting married right off the bat, out the drop of a hat. It's just too much going on too fast for my little self to keep up with. But I'm trying to log in to uh, the reported story that was um, brought out by um, Lisa Ray when she had time to sit and talk with one of the journalists that was on the street trying to get her uh, opinion on some things and they probably just walked up to us and yay did you hear about the new story that we broke and several other tabloids done broke out here on Nicole Murphy sitting up here um uh, dating or uh, fooling around with Le Leela Racon's uh husband Mr. Fuqua <laughs> and she probably said well speaking of that guess what that happened got into my marriage. Now, if you want the story, I'm going to break it to you right now. I don't know if you want to pay me. I might need some coins for this, but if you're not paying, then it's your lucky day. I'm just going to drop some tea down on you to just ignite this story a little more in the atmosphere. Okay. TMZ exclusive comes out with Lisa Ray McCoy, Nicole Murphy, wreck my marriage. Nicole is rebutting that saying Nicole is, I mean, uh, Lisa Ray is full of shit. That's basically what a herbal butter was, meaning um, um, Nicole Murphy. Okay, so let's get on into here. It was written on um, July 25th, which is a couple of days ago. Like I said, two days ago. They're getting the sides of the stories, okay, from both women. Nicole Murphy trying to steal away married men from their wives is nothing new, so says Lisa Ray McCoy who claims to have personal experience with her. But Nicole Murphy's calling bullshit, denying all of it. Now, she said, y'all don't caught me by the paparazzi. I don't know who sent them, who, who put them on our case. Yeah, I said it was a friendly kiss. Nah, I shouldn't have did that. You know, that was bad. My friend was, was hitting Twitter and Instagram just too fast. And I wasn't thinking because I got caught. I got, you know... I just got thrown out there in social media where they was tearing me up. I had to come back. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I got caught. That's what she apologizing for. She ain't apologizing for kissing the man intimately. Okay. It wasn't like a little smack on the forehead or one on the cheek. This was in the mouth. And you know, you ain't got no business kissing nobody's husband, boyfriend, significant other, partner, whatever, however you want to call it out there, in no mouth, okay? Now, going back to the article, it says, we got the Players Club actress Wednesday in L.A., because that's where she resides. Shortly after Nicole issued her apology, apology to Leela Rakan, after being photographed kissing her husband, meaning Leela Rakan's husband, or Rashawn, Antoine Fuqua, and she didn't hold back one bit. She claims her then husband and Nicole were hooking up. Okay? That was 
uh, Lisa's Ray's door to come on in to let us know about the hidden truth that she didn't really say back in the day when it was happening to her. But since it's relevant now, she thought she'd put her little tea spill on it, drop it out for everybody to enjoy. And the second side eye, this little hussy running around him by the name of Nicole Murphy. Okay, that was my pun intended. My sidebar wasn't in this article. But getting back to the article, Lisa Ray McCoy was married. Just to give y'all a little information, she was married to the Turks and Caicos politician, Michael Missick. You remember she was the first lady of Turks and Caicos? She was over there doing her darn thing, honey, and looking very pretty doing it, all right? Uh, they give a, a time frame of her marriage to him, to Michael, from 2006 to 2008, during which rumors of alleged infidelity between Nicole and Michael surfaced, all right? And she way over in Turkish Caicos, okay, fooling around with men over there. Do she have no shame, Lord? Do she have no shame? I don't think so, because she's doing it, and they letting her do it, all right? Then going back to the article, it says, well, Lisa Ray says that there were more than rumors. That, that was a fact, honey. She says they were facts. She got the footage. She got the tapes. She got the video. She could show it to us if they paid her the right money, I'm sure, to put none other than Nicole Murphy on blast. Okay? I don't even know why Nicole Murphy is keeping her mar married name. You know, that's kind of weird, too, because most people that aren't uh, married anymore and they don't want to be bothered or related, even though they know they got to do it for the kids' sakes, if kids were involved, they have to keep it cool, calm, and collected. But you don't necessarily have to keep your married name. I found that, you know, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? Unless you just want to be known as Miss Murphy, even though we all know in the public eye, you're not married to him anymore. Why keep his name? OK, the children got his name, but that's it. You're not in that marriage with him anymore. He respects you and he probably still honors you because of the children. But you should have went back to your maiden name, honey. You're still trying to ride off Eddie Murphy's name, girl. OK, but anyway, moving on. Uh, back to the article, it says a source directly connected to Nicole tells us Nicole denies Lisa Ray's allegations. OK, so Lisa Ray, you should have brought that when it was happening. I know it was embarrassing. I know. It was, and maybe it was like brought to the forefront, but not really elaborated on because I don't remember the whole incident. I remember you uh, had a you know, very bad, bad breakup with him and that he didn't want to give you any alimony or support of that guy. You know, and it was just very, it was just a pitiful sight that you didn't get a lot from this man. But then you weren't really married that long to him either. So, <sighs> I don't know. I'm like, if you're going to throw tea out there, throw it on out there. You never know who would want to bite. Just like this whole thing with Nicole Murphy uh, fooling around with uh, Leela's husband. You know, if it wasn't ever thrown out there like that, then were you still would have been secretive about you know, Nicole Murphy dipping and dabbing in, in between the sheets with your husband. Okay. I'm just saying, when you hit and you need to holler, don't let it all out. Okay. We'll soon forget after a couple of years or a couple of weeks. You know, something else we don't got our attention. I was just saying, that's my pun. That's my opinion. Okay. Moving back to the article. It says, um, according to the source, Nicole says, it's not true. She's, meaning Lisa Ray been saying that for years. There's no truth to that. Okay. So I'm like, okay, Nicole Murphy trying to stand up. But like I said, the the uh body she's leaving behind, meaning toward families, is just, you know, telling on her also. Okay, but it goes on to say Lisa Ray is also outraged at Nicole for the Antoine Fuqua situation, calling bullshit on Nicole's initial comment. That it was just a family type kiss and then pivoting, saying she was sorry and didn't know he was still married. <laughs> now, one thing I can say about a mistress, okay? If you're young and you don't know no better, and I'm saying between the ages of 18 and 25, okay? If you're not, if you haven't been out there dealing with men in, you know, areas, just speaking from a woman who's heterosexual. You would kind of tend to try to listen to their lies and think they're telling you the truth. But once you become a little bit more seasoned and you're out there, you know how men play tricks and, 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 and try to tell untruths just to kind of get 
uh, into your pants or, you know, get you into really liking them where they can kind of control you or manipulate you or whatever because you ain't really formed who you are yet. You know, between 18 and 24, you're getting into college, you're traveling the world, you're experiencing life. And, you know, some things, if you're sheltered, and you're not out there living life, you know, people can manipulate you real well. But if you're carefree, you're going out there experiencing things, you can tell how people lie, cut up, and then try to be deceitful. Okay? So it just depends on what road you're on at the time. But usually those are your formative years. You're trying to see who you are as a human being, as a person, an individualist, you know, how you're making your mark on society and life. You know, what's your moral compass who are you, in a sense? You're asking yourself all those questions. And you're still trying to put that grind down so you can have a very substantial, profitable future, depending on, you know, whatever you went to school for. Are you going to just take life experiences and do you and try to come up in the world? But, uh, yeah, but when you're like 35, 40, 50, nobody can't tell you anything. You pretty much should have learned a lot of life lessons. When I say life lessons, it's just like going to college, learning to be a well-rounded individual, okay? So, to say that was to say this. When you were in your later 30s, 40s, and 50s, can't too much go past you unless you wanted to go past you. You see what I'm saying? You should have built a foundation where you pretty much have a built-in radar for bullshit and for real shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Nicole, <laughs> you saying that you don't know whether or not they were still together or not tells me you knew all along, okay? Because you run in the same circles. You go and enter, be entertained, go to balls, go to events, go to charity events, go to foundation events, and y'all are you know, rubbing elbows and, and, and cheeks and all that with each other. And people talk, even in a very uh, secluded type, uh, members only type of situation, clubs. You still talk, you still gossip, you still, you know, go back and forth with people that you don't like or who you want to aspire to be like. It's always a conversation being had. So you always know who's with who, why they still there. Are they going to be breaking up? You have that information, whether it's given to you or you know it firsthand. So let's not play that card about you didn't know they were still married. Come on, girl. That is so beneath you. Okay, I won't even let your intelligence be shown, shown to be that negative on information. Okay, but anyway, moving on back to the story. Um, She goes on the same meaning Lisa Ray. Uh, says Nicole full well knew Antoine was still married and it was a gross betrayal of trust. Yes, if you were friends with the lady and y'all uh, may have had little outings where y'all went or were part of the same circle and y'all said hey and a hi and you know uh, had lunch together or amongst friends that you were in a little circle uh, invited into, you know, yeah, that is tacky. That's very much so tacky. So you should be getting a side eye from a lot of people. You know, if you're going to do any type of indiscretion like that, please don't get caught. You should stay all up in your hotel room. You shouldn't have been out there, you know, let, you know, laying down, swimming in the pool, all that kind of stuff. Mm -mm, it questions your morality and whether, you know, have you done this type of behavior before? Do I need to look out for you in the future <laughs> type of scenario. Okay, uh, then it goes on to say, and then there's the subject of home record. Lisa Ray doesn't quite go there, but her accusations are mighty close. Lisa Ray commented on an article about Nicole and Antoine saying, girl, girl, at uh, Nicole Murphy or Nikki Murphy, you went after at I am Leela Rakan. Rashawn's husband, too, shake my head. So wrong. So wrong again. Meaning, this is your behavior, honey. This is what you do on a regular basis. You seek out trouble marriages, and you see where you can slide in as the shoulder bender that they can cry on, meaning the man. And you put trust out there. You form your own separate relationship with them. It's not 
as a couple relationship anymore. It's okay. What can we do behind closed doors and nobody can, you know, understand where we're going with it but us <laughs> type of scenario. I like to call sit your old self down, honey. You're beautiful. Your body's well kept. But the acts that you're doing is so tiring and so predictable. All right. So predictable because I'm still asking myself, okay, what happened to you and uh, was it Michael Strahan? What what happened to y'all? Y'all were engaged. Y'all were supposed to do the do. But what happened? Okay. And then you were with, um, what was it, Eddie Murphy? I think you were with somebody before Michael Strahan and it didn't work out. And of course, we know it didn't work out after so many years with Eddie Murphy. They said he cheated on you. So maybe it's the hurt hurting the hurt. I don't know. Okay, but hurt Eddie Murphy. Don't hurt somebody you said was your friend at one time that never did anything to you. That didn't get between your sheets with your husband. Okay, I'm just saying. It's just a bad look, Nicole. It's just a bad look. And then you got Lisa Ray and DeBrat, her half sister, on your behind. Girl, they ready to turn up. They ready to turn the social media ways all up on high, piping hot. Okay, they ready because you know DeBrat about their life. She don't care. She don't been in jail. She don't call uh, cases and everything. She'll go upside your head in a minute and won't even think about it later on or that it was wrong. <laughs> If uh, Lisa Ray wanted to unleash the brat on you, girl, it'll be a serious misunderstanding, okay? Full of felony charges, some misdemeanor, but, you know, it, the brat will be sitting up in jail again, wondering how she got there. But she's so down for her sister, she would probably take the rap, okay? Say, so, okay, I got you, boom. I got you. This is my life. You know I come correct. Where she at? <laughs> she probably had more other lady goons ready to go and do work as well. Okay. So I'm glad Lisa Ray did the honorable, the am, am, what do you call it? amicable thing. And just let, hey, it fly. Wherever it is, karma is a mud when it comes back to bite both y'all, meaning her ex-husband and you in the butt. Yes, and then you're going to get it for Leela. Uh, the discretion you had with her husband and, and, and anybody else that hadn't come forward because they're too embarrassed. I just don't want to put themselves out there like that. Okay? But Lisa Ray was bold, honey. She's okay. I don't care to quiet long enough. This husband done went around him and got a hold of somebody else's husband. So I'm going to tell my story. Maybe some other people come out so we can just shame her. Shame her to death. Like, put a scarlet S on her. Um... Uh, on her back and stone her to death or something. Because <laughs> we got to get this woman under control. She cannot keep going into homes, wrecking them, and then she don't want to wear the title home wrecker. Okay? And she got the right one. She got the right one come out the bushes, the garage, the house to attack her and, and verbally not put hands on her. Because Lisa Ray, she don't like that fight. Now, I can see her messing up her facial or any parts of her body. You know, she likes wearing white, okay? So I'm like, mm, she ain't got mm, she got people that can do stuff. But if she had to come in and talk to you verbally, she probably would read you for feel from the top, top of your head to the soles of your feet and get you together so bad you'll become a nun. <laughs> you go, you just go and just dedicate your life to the monastery. I'm not in the monastery, the monastery, okay? That's when you're nuns and just, you know, just totally want to confess all their sins and be cleansed and washed, you know, freely, white as snow, you know, covered with the blood and all of that. And they just want to say, uh -uh, I just, I just want to just serve you, Lord. I don't want to be a part of no man, no infidelity, no sex, no sinful ways. Just, just let me go, cause I ain't, I don't want to get my butt beat up by Lisa Ray and her sister the bread. Just let me just go cold turkey, just go on and be a monk for none. <laughs> But y'all, that's all I had for this story. I just thought I'd break it out because, honey, when I saw Lisa Ray come on film trying to break her story to TMZ, which was the right social media outlet, because it's going to get her some play. It's going to get her some play and it's going to shame up Nicole a little bit more. Okay? So she could stop all this going behind the, the scenes and going behind closed doors and, and just pimping herself out as a pro. Okay? 
But that's all I had, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't know if I'm going to come back tonight with another one. But it just is what it is. It's 11.59. It's the standard time. I'm getting kind of tired. So I don't know. I have to just see how I feel that I upload this video. But if I don't come back, you know I'll be back on Sunday giving y'all breaking news on the enter entertainment industry on the social, me social media web platform. All right. You guys be good to each other. And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.